was it only yesterday that you were still my subject? Ha! Huh. Only yesterday that you had to look at me from your place at the long table and you had to wait until I raised my glass before you could begin to drink. Only yesterday. Huh. Only yesterday. It seems so long ago. And how like you, coward that you are, to wait until we are reduced to shadow. Slaves at an auction before you dare to walk among us, huh? And you are expecting sympathy from us, you from us, you who never drew one breath, one that didn't cause an innocent person pain, one. What can your petty vanities mean now? Look around, look, look at the cost of your little drama and weigh your words. You had your choices. You had them. The shame of your actions cannot be blamed on a god. You had your choices. And you smelled the air. And you went where the wine was sweeter and the pillows were softer. And what did it cost you? Nothing. What have you lost? Nothing. What have you ever valued beyond yourself? Nothing. What, your country? Your country. You abandoned them in wretched turmoil only to drag them back behind you in your wake on us. Of Troy. You love Troy now. Oh, you love Troy. We were such fools. Such fools to open our golden gates to let you in. Only to let you plant your seed of disgusting horror into our perfect city. When the war was feeding at the city's teeth, and our husbands, our sons, our brothers were dying, with the ears of flickering, with the keening of the women, you, you kept walking down the battlefields, flashing that hateful beacon of beauty at the sea of the troops to make them right and toss themselves in fury into the battlefields. I watched you. I watched you. I watched you. Not one flicker of remorse ever crossed that face of yours. Not any cry of pain ever moved you. Nothing, nothing moved you. Women of Troy, 